Hey guys, so today I'm going to be comparing the Zabel menstrual cup to the Fleur cup. Both of these cups come from France, I've had quite a few questions about both of them. And despite the fact that they look pretty similar, there is some pretty significant difference between the resistance of both these cups. And sorry about the lighting today guys, it's a miserable day in the UK, but come do what you gotta do. So I'll start off with the Sibel cup. So the Sibel cup has a really nice stretchy and flexible stem. As you can see, I've cut the stems off both these cups because I have a really low cervix, so I don't need um, the stem. The cup always sits really low inside of me, so I don't need to have the stem to pull it out. There are no grip rings on the Sibel cup, just these kind of indentations along the sides of them, there are four of them. The holes, the air holes, are right at the top and they just slant inwards, they don't go at any weird angles or anything. So there's two there and two there. It has a nice flared out shape which I have to say I love this cup. It's very very soft, it's one of the softest cups I own. Um, but despite the fact I have quite strong pelvic floor muscles from lots of years of dancing, I actually don't find this cup too hard to open. It does require a little bit of moving about, but I do the sevenfold, like, oops, like that, and insert it, and that seems to open up really easy when I push it up, pull it down, and push it up again. The capacity of both these cups, I believe, is 20 millilitres, which is kind of the average size um, capacity for the small cups, and so it's plenty for me, I can easily wear that for 12 hours, even on my heaviest day actually. They do hold quite a lot and it's about three times as much as a regular tampon can actually hold when it's inside of you, when it's not, as opposed to when it's uh, not being squeezed and you just dunk it into the water. So let's go on to the Fleur Cup now. The Fleur Cup has some awesome, awesome grips here. Like These are the best grips I have ever seen on a menstrual cup. Um, the silicone of this cup is not very nice. You can see it picks up dust very easily and kind of like hairs and stuff. Uh, it has two very obvious seams down the sides of the cup. It's a very, very sim similar shape to the Fleur, so, sorry, to the Sabelle cup. In fact, even their placement of the holes is very, very similar. You can see they match up pretty much evenly like that and when compared to one another. This one's a little bit longer I think in the body but only by a minuscule amount. Put them down on the surface together, you can't really see. But you can see how this one had a flat tab and this one has a cylinder style tab. So the stem on this one was not stretchy at all, but it had some very, very good grips. The Fleur Cup probably has the best grips I've ever seen on any cup, as I said before, I think. Um, but the stem is not stretchy, so that's something to bear in mind. The holes do slant in slightly on this one, you can see there. But they go straight in to the cup, and they're really big and easy to clean. I've never had a leaking issue through these holes, though, either. But you can see the rim right here, you can see where it's uh, sealed it's been moulded, whereas the Sabelle cup feels like an all-round, better-made quality cup. You can see the seal here, but it's much more smooth than this one. And there are no seams down the side of the cup that are very obvious. The Fleur cup is definitely stronger than the Sabelle, so I'll put the spell on the top. And compare, you can see there. Yeah, if I switch them around... the rooms together. Yeah. So I do like both these cups. I haven't really had a chance to use this one properly but I will do a review on it when I have. Uh, but overall the silicone on this cup is really nice. It's a lovely silicone on the Sabelle cup but the Fleur cup just feels rather cheap and it is at the cheaper end of the Munster cup uh, range. The Fleur Cup comes in more colours than the Sabelle. The Sabelle only comes in clear or this really bright pink colour. Whereas the Fleur Cup comes in this purple, a red, a pink and a clear I believe. I'm not sure if it comes in any other colours. It might. I might have missed one out there. But I hope this helped any of you guys who are interested in these two cups and seeing them compared together. And please subscribe to my channel, like this video and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.